four-way flashers on, going 50 miles an hour on the freeway. Transmission won't shift up. It's stuck in a lower gear. Lay off the gas. The gas hit it. I'm trying to get off the freeway. I do not want to stop on the freeway, but I might have to here. Service engine soon light came on about five miles ago. I can't believe there's no exits off this freeway. It's just insane. And I don't know if the video is capturing the sound. It just let me lay off again. No shift. It just won't shift. There's not going to be an exit. Tom, I'm on the road in a state other than my hometown and my transmission is going out. I need a tow. Okay, so you're yeah, I'm right near a freeway uh, uh, exit, but I'm off, yeah. off the highway. So what is your membership number? It's going to be 178. Yes, I do. It's 360. Which highway are you on? I am on 295 South in Florida. Is there an exit near you? Or? Yeah, I'm right, uh, I'm right between the freeway and exit 17 off-ramp. And how long did you say it was? It's a 25-foot Class C motorhome, so it's got the van, yeah. van front, rear-wheel drive, duals. What color is it? white with blue stripes. Okay. I'm at about 45 miles an hour, RPMs just wailing away. I don't want to blow the engine. Oh, you don't want to do that? Just an automatic? Yes. Okay. Okay, I didn't pick the best place to pull over, but like I said, uh... I could use a hug. Hug. Hey, I'm 
17? Correct. I'm between the exit and the freeway. Okay, so on what shoulder are you on? I'm on the right so shoulder. The, the right shoulder between right. the exit off ramp and the freeway. Alright, so I did to find your location exactly where you are. And he gave me you have a 25 foot uh, trailer to year 2000 and it's white. What's the, the make and the model for that? It's a 2000 Chevy Fleetwood Tioga. Me 45 minutes and it's been 50, and no text messages or updates from the tow company. But this is where I'm at. I'm a little uncomfortable about it, but it just wasn't safe to get over there. They're going 70 miles an hour on this side of me, so yeah. She told me to stay in my vehicle. I'm still not comfortable staying in my vehicle. I'd rather be outside the vehicle right here. I wouldn't want to stand in front of the vehicle, obviously. If the worst case happened and somebody rear-ended me or something and I was in front, I could get seriously hurt. So I consider this to be the safest place to wait for them to arrive. Obviously, I've gotten better at dealing with obstacles on the road. There's my tow truck. Here we go. Okay, thank you for your help. Can you can you confirm that they are at least sending the right truck this time though? You know, I feel like AAA is just dicking me around because they know I'm on YouTube. They sent this guy. A 21-foot flatbed. And the guy just instantly got in here. He's like, is this a joke? Why would they send me? Like, you guys heard the conversation. She asked me and confirmed like three times over the phone what kind of RV I was in and how big it was. And now, rather than a 45 minutes that turned out to be an hour and five minutes, she's estimating two and a half hours. Actually, no, I'm really thankful that I recorded the conversation with uh, AAA. I mean, I'm not gonna edit it in a way that you guys don't hear everything from the call, but I literally have the raw file of the entire recorded message, you know, where I clearly told, where she clearly understood what I was driving and what they needed to send, so, you know. Just in case AAA sees my video here and they're like, this guy's not portraying things as factual. He's probably making this up. No, I'm not. You couldn't make this stuff up. Seriously. Uh, at this point, I don't even think it's, I don't even think it's worth having AAA anymore. You only get four service calls a year. There's a limit. I just, you know, I've used my third of four. So I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm not going to stand out there. It's starting to get cold. You know, if I get rear-ended and die, then that's just fate. It's just my time to go. That's, that's, that's the only way I can think of it. I'm not going to... Yeah. I got the oven preheating. I'm going to make some grub. First of all, I'm going to be just blunt. This sucks. Okay? There. We said it. It sucks. Secondly, with all the RV stuff that's gone on as far as moving the wheels and continuing to be nomadic in the last few years. I have to say, I mean, I have to say it. Maybe life on the road just isn't for me. Seriously. I have to say it. Maybe it is time to call it quits. Because... I don't know. We'll see. Maybe my uh, maybe my mind will change here in the next few days. But well, I didn't record that. But I'm in here waiting for my food to get done in the oven, and a Florida Highway Patrol officer knocked at the door and asked me if I had services coming. I told him I was still waiting on a, on a tow. Everything's taken care of, and he asked me if I could uh, safely move my vehicle off the highway. I told him the only reason I didn't do it before was because. 
everybody was just, you know, speeding through to get off the exit, and I didn't think it was safe to cut across. But he said that uh, he would help me, and I was just like, okay, cool. So he actually, like, almost blocked off part of the off-ramp with his lights so that I could come across in the grass. And now I'm parked safely here, a lot safer, you know, off, off the freeway in a better spot. So I called AAA back, and I told them I moved about 500 feet, and I'm, you know, on the off-ramp of the freeway at exit 17 instead. And we'll see. I have been here for six and a half hours. I'm so disgustingly just burnt out. Emotionally, my mind, physic, I'm just, I'm just drained. I'm just, today did me in. In the meantime, I've decorated the RV a little bit. I put my palm tree picture over here. It's just a cheapo Walmart, but I got a little frame for it. I kept the plastic on it so it looks like glass. I think it looks really good. Help, hopefully it'll be like a motivator or something. And then uh, over here, I added a mirror because I figured, I thought there should be a mirror here. And I put it a lot lower than it really should be, but I'm a short guy, so that works for me. There was one in the bathroom, but it's tiny and it's in the weird corner, so, you know. See if this works. Are you meowing at me? Are you are you meowing at me or are you meowing at them? We want to know where it's coming from. I'm sorry. I didn't want this either, buddy. Yeah, I know. I think Jax is getting just about as irritated as I am. I can't believe it takes this long. But like, like I've got anything else to do, right? This is pretty much my night. My my day and my night. So why not film it and talk about it, share it with y'all? Wow, cool. I expressed my concerns and he agreed. I've now flipped a Yui on the off-ramp and he's going to tow me from behind instead so that they don't tip up my front and hit my valve tanks in the back or bottom out like that. Plus, it's a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Even just 13 miles, it's better to tow it this way since it's rear-wheel drive. Really happy this guy knows what he's doing. And he brought the right truck for the job. Yoda's all uh, hooked up here and raised the right, the right way. So I'm going to go secure everything and then hop in the passenger seat of the truck and we'll head over to Amco Transmissions and that's where we'll spend the night. So. Alright, I'm here. Kind of. I'm really tired and it's late. Actually, Amco is down here, but their lot is so small down there, there's nowhere to even park the vehicle, even just overnight. So, uh, he picked this place, Sun Tire, even on the same block. And, you know, like I said, I can technically drive the RV if need be. I've got first and second gear. So, tomorrow at 8 a.m., I'll walk over there. Um, I already talked with Dean yesterday, so I'll walk over there and he said he'll get me in to look at it and we'll go from there. I still have to get a diagnosis, right? And I have to get a timetable and I have to get a price quote and there's a lot of stuff that's just raging in my mind. But first of all, I want to give a big shout out to the towing guy. You know, yeah, he was, he was AAA. He was uh, Mark from AR and R Incorporated here in the uh, Jacksonville area. Um, obviously came with the right equipment uh, he towed my vehicle the correct way I mean it seems like a whole bunch of little stuff but absolutely just one of the most professional towing jobs I've ever had in my life and if you're with me last year in Clearwater Florida just south of here you'll remember the unbelievable episode I had with the guy uh, pinching the front whole quarter panel and the hood and and the front grill and all that with the thing and then dragging my bike a mile down the road because it tilted up too much and then at the end of it you know most drunkenly said i'm really sorry about that man well i'll give you a free tow if, if you don't tell anybody 
It's AAA, dude, are you serious? I'll go ahead and actually link that video anyway, just in case you wanna go back and contrast it to this great experience I had with AR&R. Uh, Cause it's kind of comical in a lot of ways. Um, but I've, I've gotta go straight to bed. I'm literally exhausted. I am, I am tired as hell and I gotta go to bed, so. Hey guys, I'm Eric, this is Jax. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. You want to communicate with us? I'm not a big fan of YouTube comments, so hit me up over on Facebook or I'll give you my direct email in the video description below so you can contact us. I've got lots of other videos you can check out. Also, subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates on the road. And we'll see you again soon.